Hey guys, it's me and I'm back. I think maybe I should comb my hair. Is that any better? Well, I know in the end of one of my videos, I don't even know which one, um, I said that I was going to be making a how to draw Katsuma video. Yeah, still learning how to draw the Katsuma, it's pretty hard. Um, but I am going to be showing you in this video how to draw a lovely, lovely, however you say it, I'm gonna go with lovely. But I realize it's not very encouraging that I didn't draw the Katsuma video yet. Whoops. I love this song. Oh, oh, it's recording. Okay, so I take it you guys have enough of my craziness. Here's how you draw a love bit. Okay. So you start by making two big circles. Make sure to make them light, because you are going to be erasing them later. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, okay, hang on. Okay, now so that it doesn't look terrible, sort of, anymore, I'm going to draw the main body of the lovely. So you start by making these two lines a little bit darker because they are actually going to be in the lovely. Now outline it a little bit. And when you come down through the bottom, don't outline the actual outline of the circles. Yeah, there was a lovely. That's what I'm trying to draw. Okay, and kind of like that. You want to make that shape. Sort of kind of like a squished heart. And erase the circles and say, oh my god. Oh dear, I don't have an eraser. All right, one moment. Right then, now that you've erased the two circles, um, you're gonna want to draw the stem in which you need an eraser for. Great. So erase this part right here, just what's inside the little square that I drew. Don't actually draw the square. Well, if you need the square, you can draw it, but just erase what's in this little square thing. I'm gonna go find a real eraser now. Right, now that you've got that done, draw a little thing. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. Kind of like a little rectangle thing and make one of the lines that comes up swerve around or whatever and make the other one follow that pattern thing. And then, <laughs> Like, I'm not very good at explaining this part. So there's that part. Duh. Okay. And draw a little star thing. Um, I'm gonna erase the insides. Maybe I need to get a pencil with an eraser. There, so now that I've erased the insides of the little star thing, you have the loveliest wand. If you want, you can make little sparkles up here. Sparkles all around. Cause sparkles are pretty. What am I even saying? Okay. Now I'm gonna do her legs later cause that requires an eraser and I don't have the energy for that right now. <laughs> um, Make two circles that are the same length, same size. That is not the same size. I need an eraser, don't I? My goodness. Right then, so now that they're the same size and equally spaced apart, I'm gonna make the mouth. Lovelies don't have a nose. <laughs> so, just gonna make a kind of a half moon thing with the rounded edges, like that, and make another one on the inside, so, yeah and make a half circle on the inside for the tongue. And to make the eyes, make a half circle inside each eye and color it in. This is gonna make it nice and cute and motion monster-ish. Make a little line going around the side of each one making sure that the edges of the line come out a little bit on the sides of the half circle. And 
I'm just gonna check to make sure lovelies have cheeks, and they do. So, I'm gonna wanna make them um, kind of right here on each side a little circle thing. That is the lovelies face. Okay, now for the legs. I just got a different pencil with an eraser. It's all right. So just erase a little bit on the bottom of the body in two places. And draw a little rectangle, just like that, on each one. Now, I believe a lot of these legs go toward each other, or do they go away from each other? There is a lovely on the street. They go toward each other. So the legs are going to go like that. So the legs kind of curve in toward each other. And just draw a little oval on each leg. So they have basically got the lovely legs. Um... To make the wings, you want to start by kind of making the first shape. So, hmm. one moment. Okay, don't do that. If you already started making that shape, erase it because I screwed up. I'm sorry. You, the first shape is like that, a lot wider and bigger. You take this edge and curve it in sort of like that, and straighten the line out on the bottom. And do that on the other side, too. This is the basic shape of her wing. Now, you want to make two little lines on each of her wings, and three little half circles, like, coming out of the sides that are sort of attached to it. So now you've basically got the lovely and you can color it all uh, you'd like. I do not have any colors, so I'm not gonna color it because my colors um, are, I'm not even, I don't even know. Where are my colors? Okay, so um, comment, rate, and subscribe and stay tuned. I will be uploading, oh my, okay. Sorry, I zoomed in. I will be uploading other videos, but I might upload a Katsuma video if I can ever figure out how to draw him. I tried drawing Zomer and Furry, Fury, however you say it again. I don't know how to say it. And it is so hard. I can't do that. So, yeah. That is how you draw a lovely. And down in the... What was that face? I just zoomed in on accident, but whatever. Down in the de description, uh, there is a link to my other video, How to Draw a Poppet. So, yeah. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And draw Poppet 10 Lovelies. And maybe make a video response on how to draw a furry Zomer or a Katsuma. I will be watching it because I can't figure it out. So... <laughs>